Now let's take a look at unscheduled routes. This is probably the most difficult type of scheduling to get your head around. Unscheduled routes are uh, routes of sites that need to be done. We just don't know when they're going to get done. Based, it's based on perhaps like a weather condition. So for example, I might set up a snowplow route. You can set up a generic snowplow route, estimated crew size and the status and the default calendar it should be added to. And then you want to add your sites to there. Adding sites is just as simple as clicking adding sites. I'm going to search for the type of work. In this case, I'm doing snow. So I really want to only include my snow jobs. And then I can pick the tasks that I've got set up under my snow jobs for scheduling. For example, if I want to schedule XYZ snow plowing, I could just click the plus sign. It'll come over here for my calendar. Now it's here on my schedule. I'm going to set it to plow because that what that's what we're scheduling here. I could also mark it as salt. You could also optimize the route at this point. So if you want to make sure you're doing it in the most efficient pattern, click optimize. You can specify a starting and an ending address, even one that's different from your shop if you want, and then click optimize route. It'll put it in the best order possible based on a Google Maps algorithm. We'll hit OK, and then we'll hit Save. So now what I've got is a route with these five sites in this order ready to go, but it's not on my schedule yet because we don't know when it's going to snow. So I'll flip over to the whiteboard and let's pretend it snows or we figure an event is coming imminently. Down here, I'm going to go add unscheduled. When this one comes up, you're going to pick the route, the calendar, which is already correct, which crew you're going to add this to. And I'm going to put this on my plow A crew and then just double check the crew size. Here, I can also add or subtract estimated time based on the conditions. For instance, I could leave it as use estimated time, and that's going to just keep the average time per visit. But if it's a heavy snowfall, I may want to add estimated time. And if it's a very light snowfall, I may want to subtract estimated time. We'll say this one's a little bit heavy, and I'm going to add 20% to my estimated hours and click OK. Now you can see over here that Plow A has all those sites in the order they were supposed to be done, a total number of man hours, which includes the adjusted man hours based on how much work I thought tonight's event was going to be. And when my driver clocks in on his timesheet, he's going to see the sites laid out in this very same order. And then as he gets through the night, he's going to mark them off as complete and they'll show up as, show up as checked when they get completed on this schedule.